Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Vale server. I have some interesting things to show you. I decided to mine my base in a different direction, and I started digging. I want to show you what I stumbled across almost immediately. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I started to dig in this direction. And I started digging down. And this is a shulker box. Why did I leave it here? I'll just pick that up. Anyway, I was digging down and I ran across this open cave. And when I started to follow it down, look what I found. I couldn't believe that I had one so close. Look what we have here. We have a name tag. I have a test I want to do with a name tag. So I'm going to take that and we have the music disc C418. And we have a saddle. In fact, I'll just take all of this. And then we look in this one. Cool. I'll take all this too. And I don't know where that noise is coming from. Zombies on the other side of this wall. That being the case, I'm going to spend some time digging out this area around the mob spawner so that I can set this up and grind away for some XP. The idea now is to dig north, south, east, and west four blocks. So four blocks in all directions. And then I'm going to dig downward, uh, also four blocks. And this will set up the space that will spawn the zombies in. So it's just a matter of digging down. Then I'm going to put a pattern on the floor because it makes it easier to count. But I also want to show you some work I did on the stairs just to speed things up. I can show you multiple things at once. But with the floor pattern in, I can very easily to see that uh, I did succeed in doing four blocks in all directions. I just liked it better this way. Then I'm going to start working on the room next to it, where the mobs will come out. And there you have it. This is the room. I finished this up, and next to me is the room where the mobs will fall. Now the mobs are going to go in a bubble stream upward, then over, and then fall back down so that they take most of the damage through the fall. There are better videos that will explain exactly how to build this. Then I'm going to use tinted glass because that stops light and create this window. 
which strangely enough since it's going to be pitch black in there is very difficult to see through but it does allow you to see the mobs at least let you know that it's working I'm up here because I want to change some of this tinted glass to use over at a different entrance. Looks like that got it. I got six of them. I've got six, so I actually can do this. I don't need these three. God, I did it wrong again. Okay, so that works. Now I just need to fill this in. Getting light from a torch. Jeez. That torch. I finished off all of this, and now the mobs will fall right here. And we'll just give them a minute. There we go. I didn't create a collection system. So I'll have to add that next. There we go. There's some more. And this is what it looks like when it's working. You'll see the mobs go up the bubble elevator, they go over and across, and they come down into the killing chamber where I can kill them for XP. Now, if we use the replay mod, I can show you a lit up version of the spawning room and here we can see the mobs, the zombies spawn. And then as each one goes up, and then it goes over, and then it comes back down to the killing chamber. Sometimes they swim and take a while. But that's the way it works. Now, next, I need to build a chamber below this one to hold all of the drops. And here's me digging the room out. And once I dig this out, I will then expand it a little bit more and I'll start putting the chests in. This is sped up quite a bit. I want to bore you with the digging out of the room. I've done a lot of digging. Got some ore there, decided to expand this wall just a little further. Now I'm here to add more chests. We'll just go all the way across, and then once we have the chests, and I ran out, but I'll get more later, I will go across and put the hoppers behind it and fix the these hoppers over here so that it drops. And now we'll load up these chests 
Now, what we have here is I had to go out and get some wood. And I went through the process here of gathering up the wood. But unbeknownst to me at the time, I didn't discover this until I was editing, editing this later, I was visited by some pillagers. So I wanted to see where the pillagers came from and where they went. Because I didn't find all of these pillagers. So we can see here, they decided to head up the mountain. And then I never saw them again. However, down here where I was gathering wood, I did turn around and discover one pillager. There he is. I can see him. I decide to craft a boat and I trap him in the boat. And I'm thrilled. And now, while I'm in the boat, he can't shoot me. So he's just firing off his crossbow over and over again and I'm going to hold wait until his crossbow breaks and then I'll put him inside my base which will be cool so I'm gonna take care of that now and I will talk to you in a bit here we are much later I've gone and gotten a piston so I can take him into my base and I will clear out and make some more space for this I have the ground I had to raise the ground up because the path blocks were one pixel down but now I have my own pillager and since he's not carrying a weapon he sits there passively and that will be that he'll be mine and here we are back at my base I can sit over here and kill the zombies I actually have the sound for hostile mobs turned off because these guys are really noisy and I want to take you up and show you, for me it's bad news, but it seems I forgot to do something. And because of that, my pillager despawned. I didn't name tag him. So he's gone and I can try all over again some other time but I'm going to call it I hope you enjoyed watching please like and subscribe it helps me out a lot I hope you enjoyed what you were watching thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>